The Bakerloo Line is a London underground line that runs between Harrow and Wealdstone in suburban northwest London and Elephant and Castle in south London, via the West End. Coloured brown on the tube map, it serves 25 stations, 15 of which are below ground, over 14.4 miles, 23.2 kilometres. It runs partly on the surface and partly in deep level tube tunnels. The line was so named because it goes via Baker Street and Waterloo. From Queen's Park to Harrow and Wealdstone, the section above the ground, the line shares tracks with the London Overground Watford DC line and runs parallel to the West Coast Main Line. There is, however, a short tunnel at the western end of Kensal Green. Opened between 1906 and 1915, many of its stations retain elements of their design to a common standard, the stations below ground using Art Nouveau decorative tiling by Leslie Green, and the above ground stations built in red brick with stone detailing in an arts and crafts style. It is the ninth busiest line on the network, carrying over 111 million passengers annually. The route had its origins in the failed projects of the nomadic 1865 Waterloo and Whitehall Railway and the 1882 Charing Cross and Waterloo Electric Railway. 2. Originally called the Baker Street and Waterloo Railway, the line was constructed by the Underground Electric Railways Company of London UERL, and opened between Lambeth North, at the time named Kennington Road, and Baker Street on March 10, 1906. 3. It was extended eastward to Elephant and Castle five months later, on 5 August. The contraction of the name to Bakerloo rapidly caught on, and the official name was changed to match in July 1906. 3. When work on the line started in June 1898, it had been financed by the mining entrepreneur and company promoter Whitaker Wright, who fell foul of the law over the financial proceedings involved and dramatically committed suicide at the Royal Courts of Justice, after being convicted in 1904. As a result, work on the line was stopped for a few months and did not resume until Charles Yerkes and Earl Stepton and took over the project. 3. By 1913 the line had been extended westward from its original northern terminus at Baker Street, with interchange stations with the Great Central Railway at Marylebone and with the Great Western Railway at Paddington, and a new station at Edgware Road. When opened in 1906, the Bakerloo line was operated by gate stock trains, built at Trafford Park, Manchester. To cope with the extension to Queen's Park, 12 extra motor cars of the London Underground 1914 stock were ordered, 10 from Brush of Loughborough and 2 from the Leeds Forge Company. To operate services north of Queen's Park, 72 additional cars were built by the Metropolitan Carriage, Wagon and Finance Company of Birmingham. These trains, known as the Watford Joint Stock, were partly owned by the Underground and partly by the London and North Western Railway, later London, Midland and Scottish Railway, LMS. They were initially painted in LNWR livery. They were not equipped with their operated doors and proved slow and unreliable, so they were replaced by new trains of standard stock in 1930, although a few were attained by the LMS. For some years in the 1930s Watford trains had a distinctive blue stripe at window level. In 1932, some carriages built for the Piccadilly line by Camel Laird in Nottingham in 1919 were transferred to the Bakerloo line. When built, these had been the first tube trains to have air-operated doors. These were later replaced by more trains of standard stock, in turn being replaced by 1938 stock and 1949 stock. Until the opening of the Jubilee Line in 1979, the Bakerloo Line was worked by both 1938 stock and 1972 stock. The 1972 stock was intended for the Jubilee Line. So from 1979 the Bakerloo Line, now minus the Stanmore branch, was again entirely operated by 1938 stock. From 1983 the 1938 stock began to be replaced by trains of 1959 stock, but this was a temporary measure until 1972 stock became available. 
the last 1938 stock train was withdrawn on the 20th of November 1985. From 1986, the 1959 stock was transferred to the Northern Line. Now sit back and enjoy this 30-minute ride from Elephant and Castle Station to Harrow and Wealdstone. <laughs>